Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tovia. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make strawberry shortcake. I'm going to be using my Kitchell stand mixer. This is a seven and a half quarts stand mixer and it comes with a splash shield that goes around the top of the mixer and it slides over the bowl. You have the whisk attachment, spatula, egg white separator. This is um the dough hook and the paddle attachment as well as the 7.5 uh, quarts mixing bowl it's really big comes with the handle so we're going to go ahead and start the recipe um learn more about kitchen in the description box there is a discount code that will be active for a short period of time so here in my bowl i have three cups of all-purpose flour i sifted the flour first and then i measure it that is really important so sift the flour first and then measure it so to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. Now, if you're going to be using unsalted butter, you would need to add two teaspoons of salt. But if you're using salted butter, omit the salt and you will add the salt at this point. So we're going to whisk the dry ingredients together and then we're going to set it aside. All my ingredients that I'm working with is at room temperature. I had all my ingredients sitting out for about an hour and a half. You don't want to have them sitting out too long because it could definitely cause problems with your cake. So in the bottom of my stand mixer, I have two cups of butter that's at room temperature. And to that, I'm going to add two cups of sugar. I'm using salted butter, so I, don't, I didn't have to add any salt to my batter. So I'm going to begin here. I'm about medium speed. I'm going to allow the sugar and the butter to cream together. I'm going to let this go for about six minutes or so. I'm going to stop the machine and give everything a scrape down halfway between the mixing time. So it's been about three minutes and everything is looking nice and creamy. I'm going to stop my machine, give it a scrape down. This is to make sure you don't have any sugar that has settled to the bottom of your bowl that is not being creamed together. So this step is very important. I'm not, um, I'm using my own spatula also because the sp spatula that came with the machine, I feel a little too short. So after scraping the machine down, I am going to add uh, the supreme together for another three minutes or so. Alexa, stop timer. Alexa, set a timer on Echo Dot for three minutes. Okay, so I let this go for about six and a half minutes, and I did scrape the machine um, again right before I turned the camera on. So I have eight eggs I got from my friend Claire. These are farm fresh eggs. She has a farm. And I'm going to add the eggs one at a time. So I just added one egg and I'm going to beat it for about 30 seconds. So we're just going to repeat this process. So after about 30 seconds, we're going to add the next egg and so on and so forth until you've got all the eggs added. So I, I got all my eggs added and I just want to show you what it's looking like so far. So I'm going to give everything a scrape. And then I'm going to whip this a little bit longer. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, ring the notification bell beside the subscribe button after you click it. And that way you'll be notified of my uploads. So to this, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of sour cream and one quarter cup of heavy cream. Um, this is at room temperature. And I'm not using low fat sour cream. And I am going to add four tablespoons of vanilla extract. And I'm using Baba Grand's vanilla free, I mean, I'm sorry, Baba Grand's alcohol free Mexican vanilla. It is absolutely amazing. The flavor is out of this world. 
totally different flavor. Um, it's vanilla at its purest without the alcohol flavor. So we're gonna mix those ingredients in just until they're combined. Now I am going to leave the machine on low and I'm gonna pour my flour into the bowl. But I'm gonna use a piece of foil. You can just foil with parchment paper if you want, you know, don't wanna take your splash start off. And the foil is just to help shake the flour into the feeding tube, into the tube here. So I'm just gonna slowly shake in all the flour. I'm not gonna just overwhelm the batter. So I'm just adding the, the flour to the batter. You better have a cup at a time. And I'm just have this on low speed. I have this on number one. So keep adding the flour till you have it all added. Just don't dump it all in at once. Once you have all the flour added, we're gonna stop the machine. The flour, you know, as soon as I seen the flour dissolve, I just stop the machine. I just want to give the machine a final scrape, just in case there's any flour that settles to the bottom of the bowl. I'm just gonna mix it one final time. For like 15, 20 seconds. I don't want to beat this too long because this is all purpose flour and you don't want to make the cake tough. So that's it. I'm going to remove the bowl from the machine. And I like the fact that the machine has a uh, rubber pad here to keep the bowl from sliding. And the machine has very strong suction cups on the bottoms. So the machine hasn't been bouncing around. So I love that. I'm just scraping the paddle. Just gonna give the bowl one final scrape. And this is why I'm using my own spatula because you see, like I said, the one that came with the machine is just, just far too short for my liking. But I do appreciate the fact that this mixing bowl has a handle on the side. So now, have a look at my batter. If your batter looks very sugary, like a bunch of sugar grains in there, and you, no matter how long you mix the eggs and the sugar together, that means your ingredients are too warm. So, like I say, I only have my ingredients out for about an hour, about an hour and a half max. So, I'm using a six inch pan here because I'm going to make a smaller strawberry shortcake. And I'm just going to smooth the ingredients across the top. Then, the remaining batter, I'm going to bake in loaf pans. Now this is going to bake for about the six inch pan, I would say about 30 minutes to 50 minutes. But if you use any loaf pan, it will take about 50 minutes to about an hour and 20. Um, the smaller the pan, the shorter amount of time, the larger the pan, of course, the longer amount of time. And I didn't tap the pan because I didn't want to knock out any of the air. So I just smoothed it across and I buttered my pan and I dusted it with flour. I'm not using any parchment paper. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll be back once this is done. So here is the cake. It took exactly 45 minutes for my six inch cake to bake. Now my loaf pan is still in the oven. That's gonna take probably about an hour and 15 minutes. So we're gonna let this sit in the pan for 20 minutes. I'm gonna remove it from the pan and allow it to cool overnight. It's been about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just flip the cake out of the pan and it came out with no problem, no effort whatsoever. So, um, see it didn't stick. The bottom is light. The cake is nice and golden. It's gonna have a beautiful crumb. So I'm gonna let this um, go ahead and cool completely overnight. So I'm gonna show you the cake. So my cake is cooled. So I did two six inch cakes. So I have one layer that I've already split in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one in half so you can see what it looks like. And I just use a serrated knife and I just hold my hand steady just going back and forth. 
use a very sharp serrated knife. And you can see the, the beautiful crumb. Oh, this is very moist on the inside. This is gonna be truly amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and make the strawberries and the cream. So I have one pint of strawberries here. I just kept a few that I'm gonna cut in half and put on top of the cake. So with, to the one pint of strawberries, I'm just gonna add a couple of teaspoons of granulated sugar. And I like to cut my strawberries up because I um, find that the cake holds together easily. So I'm gonna stir all the sugar and strawberries together. And I'm gonna let this sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And you're gonna see that the strawberries is gonna release a lot of juices. You can let this sit overnight if you desire. So I have my stand mixer fitted with the wire whisk. And um, I have my bowl in the freezer for about an hour. So I'm gonna pour in uh, about three and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. I know it's exact because I had used some already. And I'm gonna add one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Now the powdered sugar will stabilize the cream. So that's why it's important to add this amount. I'm gonna add a couple of teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm using Baba Grands. I'm gonna put in just a tablespoon. I like the flavor. So I'm gonna to begin to whip the two together. You have to use the whip attachment for this. I'm just starting to turn it up, you know, from low to high slowly. I will use my splash car, but I decided to leave it off so you guys get a better view of the inside of the bowl. So I'm gonna just let this go on high. I'm gonna whip this on high just until soft peaks begin to form. So it's been a couple of minutes now, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the mixer off. And uh, let's see how. So this is pretty stiff. I want to go just a little bit longer. I want it to be a tad bit more stiffer. So I believe my cream is stiff enough. So now we're gonna go ahead and assemble the cake. So now we're going to assemble the cake. And take one of my bottom layers here place it on top of my plate, place a little bit of cream, and I try to just place like an even dollop of that cream on the middle, and then the strawberries, I'm just going to stay about a quarter inch from the edges, and I'm just going to add some of the strawberries onto the cream. I'm not going all the way towards the edge, because when we place the cake layer on top, it's going to push the strawberries. So now I'm going to add my first cake layer on top. Just kind of press it slightly. Now I've already started assembling my cake. And um, I just did one layer already. So um, you're going to do the same thing for two layers. So and you'll do that for the first and second layers. And then after that you just place layer cake on top. I'm just going to use my spoon to sort of smooth the cream around. Then for the top layer, 
I'm just gonna do one final round of cream. Tip back of my spoon and slid the cream over the top of my cake. And after I get the cream onto the cake, I'm just gonna place my strawberries on it. And then finally, what I'll do is I'll just drain some of the juices of the strawberry off and place it into the center. This diced strawberries that we have. This is the center. Now I'm gonna rush and stick this into my fridge because this needs to set up. And um, it's starting to get kind of warm in here. So here's my cake. I let it sit in the fridge for about an hour so the cream could really firm up. We're gonna slice into this and we'll be right back. Here is our strawberry shortcake. Look at that, it's extremely moist. Look at those layers, perfect crumb. This is gonna be so good, that's the bottom. Absolutely wonderful. Please hit the thumbs up and share this video and leave a comment down below. Let's show you the crumb, it's very moist. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Wow. Very moist, it melts in your mouth. The cake is not too sweet, the cream is not super sweet but it's sweet enough in the cake being that it's not so sweet but very buttery it really balances the flavor out the strawberries are nice and sweet from that sugar this beautiful flavor going on so that's how you that's how i make strawberry shortcake this is one of many variations please follow this recipe and um i'm sorry the video is so long i try to be very detailed for those who are new to baking um, thank you so much for watching and supporting, and please remember to come together and love each other.